Yar, it seemed like nobody be shivering Margot Robbie's timbers anymore. They won't be walking her planks in any of the Pirates of the Caribbean no more. Yes, that's right. It looks like there's some news, and it's hit pretty much every single entertainment magazine out there that Margot Robbie is saying that the female-led Pirates of the Caribbean is no longer. I don't know if this was sad news for you, but let's take a look at the sad news. Margot Robbie says her female-led Pirates of the Caribbean movie is dead at Disney. I guess they don't want to do it. It's very shame. So such a shame. She had the new Vanity Fair cover story, which her her female fronted Pirates of the Caribbean, co-written by Birds of Prey screenwriter Christina Hodson. Not interested in anything the girl who wrote Birds of Prey did. Sorry, just not interested. It, it is fascinating. This this was definitely looked like it was greenlit and things were going on. We've all heard that Disney is making some pretty serious cuts and some major layoffs uh margot robbie goes to say we had an idea and we were developing developing it for a while ages ago to have more of a female-led not totally female-led but just kind of different uh, just a different kind of story which we thought would have been really cool but i guess they didn't want to do it and uh, variety reported in summer of 2020 that disney was in early development of robbie's pirates movie Second reboot written by other people, uh, Ted Elliott and Chernobyl creator, and Jerry Berkheimer, who is in, involved. He had produced all five Pirates movies starring Johnny Depp. And uh, it says here, Berkheimer was saying that he, does, he did not want to move forward with Johnny Depp, even though Disney's been using his likeness. They continue to use Captain Jack Sparrow. He said, yes, we're talking to Margot Robbie. We're developing two pirate scripts, one with her, one without. How dare you? And he said, will Depp be back? Not at this point. The future is yet to be decided. If you look at it, the entire pirate series did $3.07 billion internationally. It's kind of uh, shocking that you would just set sail on these things, right? Um, a couple of the movies made over a billion dollars. Let's go back in the way back machine, though. Let's go back. And this is from The Hollywood Reporter. Going back to June 26th of 2020, Margot Robbie and Birds of Prey Christina Hodson are reteaming for the new female-fronted Pirates of the Caribbean. Did they learn nothing from the female Ghostbusters? Did they learn nothing? Apparently, they didn't. They decided to keep on walking that plank. Super exciting. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to happen. No, thank you. Uh, not that I'm opposed to Margot Robbie. You know, whatever. I think she's great. Want to see her. Whatever she wants to do, I'm okay with. I just think it's interesting that this was like a big deal. Um, but just got killed. I mean, Birds of Prey did not do well enough to mandate them moving forward with this. Johnny Depp seems to have repaired his reaction. and I Or, or his, like, uh, his appearance. You know, people are starting to... It clearly seems that people were not happy with um, how that whole trial went down with Amber Heard and how Amber Heard, people aren't really into that chick anymore, you know. So, I don't know. What do you think? Would you like to see another Disney, uh, one of these Pirates of the Caribbeans? Personally, I saw the first one. Didn't like it that much. It's okay. I'm not so into pirates, I guess. Like, the ride doesn't do a lot for me. And maybe I'm just, like, not that into pirates. But I know a lot of people who do like it. So, if you do like it, that's okay. I Obviously, a lot of people liked it. It made a couple billion dollars. But what do you think? Are you do you, Would you like to see Margot Robbie? I mean, everybody would like to see Margot Robbie. But would you like to see her star in her own one? See, I think that's the problem is maybe not so much having it, like, female-fronted. If they had gone with it, like, not the pirate, you, you know, not having it, like, maybe she was her own captain and had nothing. It didn't, wasn't like a female crew is what it sounded like. So, we can only speculate at this point because it seems like the thing's DOA. It's not coming back. I don't know. 
seems like Disney's cleaning some house and this didn't seem like it was guaranteed to make money. And that's where if you bring Johnny Depp back, you're pretty much guaranteed to make money. People will always want to see Captain Jack Sparrow. Nobody does a drunken pirate better than that guy. <laughs> I, he still does uh, visitations to kids today. It's, it has a huge cultural impact, as they say. So let me know what you think down in the comments. I think it's uh, I think they're making a mistake. Maybe if they paired the two of them together and then gave her a spinoff, but you can't just be like, here's a new Pirates of the Caribbean without Johnny Depp. It's a little tough to do. Look at what happened to Fantastic Beast. Mad Mickelson's good, but it just didn't work out that well. So let me know in the comments below what you think. Some interesting news coming across Hollywood. I'm sure there's going to be more things coming through. And uh, catch our full-length audio podcast. It is for free to you on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, all those great places and more. We do live stream on YouTube from uh, right here, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Friday nights on this channel here. As we also do Rumble. Check us out there. We're, we're doing some rumblage. So anyway, uh, thanks for listening. Really appreciate it. And uh, as for myself, I am out to the next one.